money doesn't buy happiness. That's a very common saying. According to Cody Sanchez, it does. We're going to be talking about this tweet right here. Being rich is awesome. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you. Life is just easier up until you make about 500000 and then it gradually evens out. I believe, Kirby, what she's saying right here is basically after you make 500000 the amount above that basically provides the same lifestyle as you would have making 500000 Is that true? Uh, I'm going to look at it that way. Yeah, we can go with that that train of thought. I look at it as it, it evens out as in you don't get more happier. You don't get more happier once you get to five hundred thousand. I mean, after that, I mean, because for the most part, everything that you want to do, unless it's something crazy like, oh, I want to fly private jets everywhere, you know, and five hundred thousand dollars a year, you can go rent, you can go rent a boat if you just a boat enthusiast and all that. You can go on cruises. You can go on any trip in the, you know, in the world that you can go on. Now you probably can't go on these SpaceX flights or nothing like that, making five hundred thousand dollars a year. But it got to be something way extravagant, over the top that you can't do. That's that really only the point zero 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 point one percent. But I looked at it. I looked at it a different way. When she said money doesn't buy happiness, I agree with when when she said no, that's not true. You should strive to try to get to five hundred thousand dollars a year, and I know five hundred thousand dollars a year is a lot of money. But the thing is, is once you get to that five hundred thousand dollar mark, and remember how it was when you was, you know, you didn't have any money, the stresses that went along with it. Once you eclipse over that five hundred thousand dollar a year mark, more stressors come on with it. It is more stresses that come on with it, and I try to tell people all the time is. When you start making money, you become a target. Now, when you're poor, nobody you you when you're poor, you you only targeted by you know the scammers that's calling your phone trying to get you to you know unlock your cash app for the little 20, you know, 20, 30, or 500 dollars you got in your cash app. But once you start, you know, making money, people start seeing assets in your name, they seeing that you're making money, they're gonna go after you in other ways, they're gonna go after you in lawsuits. They're going to go after every little thing you do, you offended them. You know, it's other stresses that come along. So that's why I am a big proponent. I mean, people hate it, especially all of the people that don't have any money that I know. I'm a big proponent of not showing off your money because the only people you're impressing is people that can't afford the lifestyle. And in this day and age, I mean, I'm not even going to say this day and age, for the history of men, people are too lazy to go go through the steps that you went to to achieve it, so they're going to find a shortcut to take it from you. I don't care if it's family, friends, relatives, strangers on the street, that's what they're going to do. It adds more stressors once you start building up your net worth, especially $500,000 a year, and then you know you got access up the wazoo, you own businesses and things like that. More stressors come along. You got to be very careful of what you say, very careful of who you hang out with, very careful of what you do because more stresses are added with it. So the normalcy of life at about $500,000 a year and then going higher, it balances out to what it is. I mean, yeah, you got the money to pay for the lawyers, but why do you want to pay for the lawyers? Mike Tyson to tell you all day, you know, Mike Tyson made over a hundred million dollars in his career. He said, I didn't go broke because of the, the cars, the cars, the women, and uh, the houses and the tigers and all the other crazy stuff that I was buying, I went broke because of the lawsuit. Selling out of court, selling out of court, selling out of court. Because those are the added stressors. So when they say more money, more problems, it's true. It's just more money, different problem. You don't got the same problems as somebody that don't have no money. You just got a whole different problem. And it costs a whole lot more money to handle those problems once you start building your net worth to a certain plateau. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I think too, not just lawsuits as well, also, but like the cost of managing business, the cost of operating business, you know, that goes up too. And I don't think people realize that like rich people aren't just sitting with loads of cash in their bank, like stress-free. There's, there's other things that come up, but if you have, if you structure yourself right, and I think put the right management in place, I think you can 
alleviate that stress, which we talk about a lot on this channel. But it's definitely, I'd rather have those problems than, you know, I, I, I've i always thought to myself, I'd rather deal with these kinds of problems than deal with living in a living in a thought process or reality that I can never escape and own my own life, if that makes sense. Like, I can never break free from the 9 to 5 system. That has always been probably the biggest fear to me. Um, so I will definitely choose these problems over that. But I do agree with what Cody Sanchez says. Yeah, no, I mean, and, and you're right. I mean, I've, I've dealt with both sides. I mean, I've dealt with how the, how the heck I'm going to pay my rent. That sucks. That, that sucks. But I've also dealt with how I'm going to handle a lawsuit. You know, I mean, the when I mean, I always heard it, you know, growing up in the inner city, you know, you got you got notorious big, more money, more problems, a song. You know, I just thought it was words. I heard people say it. I just thought it was words until I literally seen somebody try to come after me, not for what I did. It was because of what I had. So I'm a big proponent. I mean, even to my kids. I mean, I tell them all the time is you don't talk about what you have. We don't go around, you know, driving around in Lamborghinis and Porsches just to impress people that can't afford it. We don't talk about, hey, we can afford this. We do what we do. We stay to ourselves and we just like the book millionaire next door. We just stay in our own lane. We don't do nothing, uh, you know, out of the, you know, out of the box to make people think that, oh, we're just doing so good. We don't care about what people think. We know what we have. So, because if you go out running your mouth, telling people this, you know, people seeing what you do, you become a target. Everybody's going to try to extract money from you. When I say friends, family, and things like that. I mean, everybody. When when I was broke, didn't have nothing, I didn't get phone calls, you know, ask for money. Maybe, you know, hey, you got $10, $15, you know, for gas money when gas was that cheap, you know, to get me to the end of the week. But then when you start making money, you start talking about investing, you start trying to help people get their financial future together. They know that's what you're doing. So they know that, oh, well, I could just call them. Now, I don't get phone calls for gas money. I wish I did. I don't get phone calls for gas money. I get call, uh, phone calls for, hey, you got $20,000 laying around. Hey, do you got uh, $15,000? Do you got $5,000 so I can uh, buy my kid a car? This is, this is the realm that you go to. So everybody's going to try to extract it out of you, but they never call and say, hey, show me how you got to where you're at. I'll get the, hey, man, I wish I would have started when you did. But those same people say, I wish I would have started when you did. The people that seen the success that you had, they don't say, well, let me start now. What should I do now? That's not happening. They looking for, like this screen behind me, they're looking for shortcuts to just try to get it from you instead of going a long road and a long journey that you had to go to. So that's, that's my view on it. But Cody Sanchez is spot on. One about the number matrix, five hundred thousand dollars. This is nothing that you can't do making five hundred thousand dollars a year that you can't do making a million dollars a year, unless it's something crazy, like I said, flying private or something like that. And even at a million dollars a year, you can't fly private every time. Yeah. Yeah. With all that means say, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.